What's really interesting about S4 HANA and Oracle Fusion is a way that these two companies have sort of flipped positions in their strategies and how they have developed and gone to market with their product suite. In other words, both vendors are not necessarily going to market with just one solution, even though we're just talking about one solution from each vendor. They have a multitude of systems that help support that core solution. And this is particularly true for SAP. S4 HANA is a great product that has a lot of capabilities, but it can't do everything that organizations need. So SAP has gone out and acquired other systems, other best of breed systems that they integrate into S4 HANA to complete the full picture of what a customer might need. For example, SAP has acquired business objects, they've acquired Concur, they've acquired success factors, and other systems to help fill the void with human capital management and business intelligence, Ariba on the procurement side of things, and a number of different systems. And what's really interesting about this is that SAP has now become somewhat of a best of breed provider, which is what Oracle used to be. Oracle was the one that back in the 90s and early 2000s was out acquiring other software vendors. They acquired JD Edwards and PeopleSoft and Siebel and other systems. And for a long time, they went to market with multiple systems to give customers multiple options depending on what their needs were. So it's sort of flipped now because Oracle Fusion is the first time that Oracle's really gone to market with a single platform for the most part, and they're really focusing on building more of that greenfield strategy of baking all the capabilities into a single platform, which was what SAP used to do. So if you look at the evolution of these two companies over the last 10 or 20 years, it's very interesting to see their product strategy and their suite of products evolve and change over time. So what this means to you as an organization is that if you deploy S4 HANA, you have to realize and recognize that you're probably going to have to deploy other systems on top of that. If you go with Oracle Fusion, you're probably going to be more primarily focused on Fusion rather than a best of breed suite of products, for better or for worse. So it depends on what the needs are of the organization, but just be aware that it's not just one system we're talking about in both cases.